Hey, alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. So we are underway here. Round one, scheduled for 12. Teddy, let me put you in the opposing corner opposite George Foreman right now. And you have a fighter who you know likes to fight on the outside. Will it work tonight against George? It will if you give him angles on the outside. Don't stand right in front of George where he's set to be George. Don't stand at the end of his punches. Get on the side a little bit where George has to move his feet. He has trouble moving those feet and adjusting that power to angles. by Buster. Flush right hand to the body. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces him into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Douglas. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Will you look at this? Look at this pace that these two are fighting at so early in the fight. Teddy, each man must have been determined to think they can get the other one out of here early. Yeah, I want to see who blinks first, though. That's what's interesting to me. Who changes? They can't both keep this up. End of round one. Buster's back in his corner now, probably reflecting on what was a very solid round. Now, he didn't overwhelm his guy with a quantity of punches, but he was so effective with what he did put forth. Yeah, you're right. You know, a lot of times people think that the muscles that count the most in any sport, especially in this sport, such a difficult sport, is, you know, the biceps, the physical things that you see, you know, the chest, the back. You know, this guy's got the strong muscle up top, you know, over his shoulders, in between his shoulders, his brain. And that's why he's picking the spot so well. That muscle is serving him, serving him to win this fight right now. Good right hand. Both these guys obviously hopeful that their cut men will be up to the task tonight. What does it take to be a great cut man? And you know, that's a great question. First of all, you better have the right coagulants, the right chemicals, the right medications in that corner. Avatine, adrenaline, and you have to have Vaseline where you can put it on it. But the most important thing, you have to be calm. You can't panic. And you have to put pressure on that cut, just the right amount of pressure. And then you put those medicines in it. And then you better have a fighter that can give you a round or two. He can move around and not get caught right away. Give the medicine a chance to work. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. George Foreman's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Douglas is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches but he's able to block them away. Look at that combination by George Foreman. Hey, hands up! Hands up, come on! Able to cut down that ring and just push his opponent against the ropes. And we come to the end of round number two. George Foreman's defense is going to need to shine when he gets back out there. I mean, just look at the close-up of that cut we're seeing. Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work. Scored well up top. Good job. 
Buster's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. <laughs> Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. Douglas's left working well that time. Buster's quickly taking control of this fight early on with one single weapon of choice, and that is the jab. Yeah, the jab and the jab at the right time. He's catching his opponent every time he starts coming in. Big right hand. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. So in this kind of situation, it's kind of like a wounded animal. Yeah, you could go after him, but you better be careful because he'll strike out when you don't expect it. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Decide to trade there. Don't let him get at you. Doubling up that jab, it serves him well to the body. You're not focusing. Work the body, kid. That's right. Ten seconds to go in this third round. You're doing great. What a thudding shot he just landed. Well, he left the left hand out there a little lazy, and he crashed it over. You're not working. You're not working unless anything is worked on. You're not double jabbing. You gotta work this kid. You understand? Douglas is pitching a shutout right now on Teddy's scorecard. First three rounds all going on his side of the ledger. That's the clean shot with the left hand that he was looking for by Douglas. Douglas has got to be feeling the impact of that uppercut. Wow, a big flush blow, the left hand by Douglas. Now he's putting his punches together, the combination upstairs. Douglas is being so very effective, punching in combination. And that's what you want. He's got pretty good hand speed. Might as well use that hand speed. No better way to use it than putting them together. Foreman's the victim of a powerful hook. Keep moving, keep moving. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Halfway through this round. Keep working the body. A crushing two-punch combo by Douglas. Missed the target with that hook. the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Nice work. Nice, nice work. And he's holding. A clean, devastating power shot. A little return fire by Douglas. Taking too many punches. Hands up, hands up. Cut absolutely rocked up. Well, I don't like the way his legs look at all right now. Keep this fight in the center of the ring, okay? Much better. Much better. Now, that's what I like to see. That was good. Round number five has arrived. Douglas's opponent was able to get to him and stun him in that last round. Here we are early in this round. Let's see if he can get to him again. Well, a lot about seeing if he's going to get to him is how he's been able to understand why he got hurt. Did his corner help him out and tell him, hey, you got hit with a left hook. Keep that right hand high. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. A well-targeted 
hook landed by Douglas. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. His right hand scores well. And an excellent uppercut by George Foreman. Effective with that one two. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. And now he's on the record of saying, I saw that one. That's a warning for the low blow. Douglas is putting forth a great combination there. Very accurate with big shot. How about that power shot? And how about the reverb that's going about a county away with Big George hitting the canvas? So big George Foreman able to get up after that knockdown and now a real challenge in front of him. Now the challenge right now is really the opposite of any challenge that he's ever faced before. Usually the challenge is how to get rid of a guy. You know, how to put his big paws on a guy. Now he has to find a way to survive. George Foreman's trying to get back to where he was here in this round. He was knocked down in the last round. Now Teddy, when you're the opponent, and you knock the guy down. Those opening few moments of the next round, do you try to size up and kind of take into account where your opponent is? Do you look into his eyes and assess the situation? Well, I don't know if you get close enough to look right into his eyes as the opponent, but first of all, in the corner, you better not send your fighter out of his eyes so look clear. That's your responsibility, looking out for the fighter. But as the opponent out there, you look at his legs. If his legs look a little wobbly, you get right on him. Come on, now's your chance. As basic as can be, but it works. A jab followed by the straight. He has his target, he lands the straight right. see George Foreman hurt like that. There it is! Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? One, two, three, four, five, six. George Foreman's back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Douglas. Buster's given us a good showcase of defense here tonight, especially up top. His head movement is just sublime. And his opponents cooperate with him a little bit because he's getting frustrated. He's looking for that big shot, and he's continuing to miss. He's making no adjustments. A guy's moving his head. You know what you want to do a little bit? What's that? Well, you want to feint him a little bit. Make him, make him. Oh, that's got to hurt. He never saw that coming. Foreman's knocked down by a punch that came from out of left field. That was like Haley's Comet. You won't be seeing that again for about 10 years. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. The fight is over. Douglas's power just much too much for his opponent. Another knockout for him. Five knockouts. Your winner, Douglas.
Busters, your winner by knockout. Now, I think he was headed towards a decision win anyways, but what a good way to just put a stamp on his evening. Yeah, bring down the curtain and make sure that more people are going to be talking about you when they leave the arena tonight. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Always enjoy you tuning in. We'll see you next time at the fights.